Think Media, Alex Ramosi, Myron Golden, they're like on my fantasy team. So I'm not necessarily trying to like reach out to them and use them that they're, they're at a much higher level, higher pace. It would just cost a ridiculous amount of money to, to work with them when in reality I could build with like a better wealth, a Caleb, right? So one thing that I love to do, and I think this is going to be a lot of value for those of you that come across the Grant Cardones of the world and they're selling a high ticket program, you know, 50,000 bucks, $25,000. And that's basically 50, 75% of your income, right? That's like majority of your income. What if you could invest in a similar version of a Grant Cardone, Tony Robbins, Dean Graciosi, Ty Lopez, Myron Golden, Alex Ramosi for a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of the cost. And then 10, 20 years from now ish, let's say now they're the next Alex Ramosi, right? Like before Alex Ramosi, who was the guy, right? I don't know. So maybe he just created his own category king type of a space. But I would say before Tony Robbins, it was Jim Rohn. Jim Rohn was the guy. Then Tony Robbins came on the scene. I think before Tony Robbins, you had Les Brown as well. And then there was John Maxwell. So after Tony Robbins came this guy, Dean Graciosi. And now the two of them are like, now he's the main dude doing all this content. Ty Lopez, he was like one of the goats. Who came after him? I've seen a dude named Steph, Steph, uh, uh, Graham Stephan. Meet Kevin, right? After Grant Cardone came Meet Kevin. Meet Kevin blew up. So you see how there's a cycle. In every industry, there's like the goat the main guy or the main girl that's like the dominant in their space and they're high caliber they cost the most amount of money to access them but then there's a superstar that's under the radar no one's seen them yet and if you're efficient like to me that's being efficient where i'm gonna buy into this person that's a superstar that no one seems to be paying attention to right now and before they blow up and go super famous where they become unaccessible i'm gonna access them as much as i humanly can to me a guy like caleb better wealth he's made himself very accessible to me personally so i'm like oh i'm i'm all in with, with this guy he's only got 19,000 subscribers the type of material he's talking about should be viral it should be exploding it there's no doubt in my brain after attending the and asset mastermind he had people in the room making 50 70 100 million dollars a year he got a ceo of a life insurance company called lafayette to come speak at his event. He had Penn Mutual, Lafayette, One America, and I think another life insurance company as sponsors for his event. I'm observing, when I go to events, I observe in a different way. Like, yes, I'm listening to the speakers, but I'm also like paying attention to like who's in the room and how did this get funded? Where did the money come from? And I was like, oh, money came from there. For sure, for sure. I was like, wow, okay, that's interesting. And like, he's not, doesn't have a million subscribers.